Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover part of a request from Asai. Half of it will be, be uh, covered now, and the other half will be covered later in a class spotlight. But he asks, from Isai Gonzalez, he says, You make really good tutorials. Can you by any chance make a dark magic offensive class that mainly focuses its magic on powerful attacks? Kind of like a glass cannon type of class, it would also be cool if the class could inflict a poison state that gets worse every turn. So this isn't exactly uh, going to get worse every turn, but it's going to inflict a poison state, uh, in this case I've named it Venom, that uh, if the character takes any damage, then it's going to get worse, and he's going to have two states. So instead of negative uh, 5% HP every turn, he's going to get negative 14% HP every turn, which will stack uh, after a while and then you can even nest these so that uh, you have multiple uh, things st multiple states stacking but anyway let's get into what I have prepared for you guys quick little scenario so we've gone into a cave Mia's here she says it's dark in here are you sure this is the right place Serena's with us good thing yes this is the lair of the Isai Viper this creature has been poisoning the villagers it has a venom attack that, if left untreated, turns into a stronger poison. Mia says, So we're here to get its venom gland to make a cure for the villagers? I don't believe this viper is just going to give us what we need without a fight. Drifty's here. Not only does this creature have a venom attack, but it also has a powerful thunder magic. We have to be careful. Serena says, You look out for that venom attack and slay this thing. I'll take care of the magic attacks. Many villagers have already fallen. We must make haste and slay this creature. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, it's pretty dark in this cave. It's an Asai Viper. So nice of you to join me. Just in time for supper. Let's take him down. Or her. Um, we're bringing a magical runic blade attack. Uh, Yanfly just posted a video today about Runic Blade. If you're interested in creating a, a Runic Blade in your game, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to go check out his tips and tricks video. It's really cool. Um, it's from uh, Celeste's skill in Final Fantasy VI, one of my favorite RPGs of all time. So we see that we have Runic Blade, and uh, the Isai Viper casted uh, a Thunder Magic. But because we have the taunt and the, the runic blade on, it's drawing all the magic in. And instead of taking damage, Serena healed MP. So that is cool. Otherwise, this fight would be extremely hard. So we're going to keep runic blade up for the whole fight and then try to do damage and just heal through this. There's static shock again. Luckily for runic blade, we're still alive. Now, if we can just get this thing to use the skill I needed to use to showcase the other thing, that would be brand. I should have lowered the the rate of attack and increased the probability. It's okay. Oh, I forgot to use Running Blade. Luckily, I set it to two turns. Which is different. Runic Blade. There's Sling Venom. Serena has now got the Venom uh, state inflicted. So if her HP changes at all, the Venom state is going to become a poison state. You see how after curing, the Venom state became a poison? It's a new turn now. Slinging Venom. So now we have the Venom state and the Poison state on Serena. So she's taking 14% of her damage, of her max HP every turn. So let's get rid of this dragon now, or this Viper. After slaying the Viper, we got an Isai Remedy mixture. The Viper says, no, I couldn't have lost. Let's get this Remedy back to the village. You have slain the Isai Viper and saved the town. Alright. And we go back to the title screen. Cool. 
All right, let me show you how to do that. You're going to need a couple things. You're going to go to your plugins. You're going to add the Yanfly Core Engine, and you're going to add the Yanfly Damage Core. I have several videos showing how to add plugins, so check my other videos if you're unsure how to add your plugins. So once you have the Damage Core uh, in, uh, to activated, you're going to scroll down to about uh, Damage Step 52, and we're going to add... Oh, wait, that's for Runic Blade. You're going to go to, to Step 93, and we're going to add a conditional statement to 93. And this condi a conditional statement is going to say if parentheses target dot is capital S on state capital A on affected parentheses again 81 is the number of the the venom skill we created so this first one is going to be the the state that you inflict with the new skill we that we're going to create uh, then you close that parentheses and you close the second parentheses then we're going to open a brace and we're going to say if they're inflicted with venom then do this so we're going to open up the brace target dot add capital S on state parentheses 2. This is the second state you wanted to add. So in this case, uh, poison is in the second state, slo uh, st second state slot. Tongue twisters. So if you wanted to add something else, you would just change this number. And then we're going to close the brace. And I don't think you need an inline right here, but it makes a nice happy face at the end because you have to include this brace. So I leave it anyway since it still works. So once you've added that to the damage core, all you have to do is go to um, your states and you're going to add a new state. So the first number, 81, you could uh, just put that anything for now uh, uh, at first, but then you're going to add a state, and then you're going to put that number in there. So if you're unsure what to add, add a state, take note of the number, and go back to the damage core and edit that first number to say uh, this number, in this case 81 for Venom. So this Venom uh, state is going to be like a, a poison, but it's kind of a weak poison, so it's about negative 5% HP regen. Uh, and how you do that is you would just go to... Uh, parameters, extra parameters, HP regeneration, and you make this a negative number. So if you wanted to make a regen, you'd make it positive. If you wanted to make like a poison effect, you'd make it negative. And that's how you do this. Uh, I've checked remove at the end of battle, and at the end of, uh, also at the end of the turn is when it's going to trigger, and it's going to last for five turns. You can give it a message, flavor message if you want. It's up to you. This is just a template that you can use to make other skills in your game. Uh, after you've made the state, and you've, ref you've figured out what other state you wanted to add. In this case, I'm going to want to add poison. You're going to go to your uh, skills, and you're going to add a new skill. So I've made a new skill called Sling Venom. So I've given it a graphic, a name, a, a description to let the player know that it infects your target with a poison that gets stronger if they take damage. Um, it also, and this also, uh, if their HP changes at all, then it, it actually triggers the next state. So we might have to put an if uh, a statement inside of there. To, to change this. I might up to update this later uh, if their HP changes. But uh, skill type, it's up to you. The scope is up to you. Battle, I would, or occasion, I would say battle screen. Invocation, uh, I've gave this one a certain hit in a custom animation and uh, gone with the user's message. You can set required weapon if you like. If you want this to be a player state that when your Dark Knight attacks, uh, you could say it requires like a scythe or something. Uh, the damage, I've let this attack do damage, but it doesn't actually have to do damage for this to work. Only thing it has to do is inflict the state on the target. So we've gone right here uh, to the effects, and we've gone to state, and I've added the state that we created. So once you've done that, you've created the state, you've, ta you've taken note of the number of the state's location, you've created a skill that adds the state, then you're done. All you have to do is add the, the plugins and uh, edit the damage core. In this case, I've gone with uh, damage step 93 right at the bottom, and uh, I'll show you that uh, if statement one more time right here. If you want to pause the video, you can copy that. Now you'll change this number for the state uh, that it's checking if the if it's inflicted. So if they have venom, then add this state. So you can do anything else like if they have ignited, add burning. So you can really it's up to your imagination. But hopefully you guys like this video. It's Cy Gonzalez. I'm going to do part two of your request uh, in, a, in a following video. Thank you for your question. Thank you guys for watching this video. Continue to ask these questions in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next time.